Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today for an unboxing for the Diamond Art Club's fourth anniversary special release. <laughs> if this is the first video that you're seeing, Diamond Art Club is celebrating their fourth anniversary and they're releasing 50 new releases to celebrate. This is gonna be released on Friday, um, April 29th at 12 a.m. So this is like midnight you know, early morning, early, early morning, Friday, that is Pacific Standard Time. And so if you don't know what time it is in your time zone, just type in 12 um, a.m. Pacific Standard Time in your time zone and, and you can find out. <laughs> but um, that is going to be for the Diamond and Ruby tier members. Now there's going to be a general release and that's going to be on April 30th. That is Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so um, that will be for everyone. And of course, they're going to hold lots of stock back so that everyone can have a chance at all these kits. The Diamond and Ruby tier members will just get an extra about 33 hours that they can shop. Okay, now that we got that information out of the way, let's look at this diamond painting. Okay, so you guys, look at this. This is called Tea Party, and this is by Simona Candini. Oh my gosh, I've seen quite a few people saying they are hoping to see um, this artist and whoop, here she is. So this one is 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And this one is of course a square, well not of course, but um, if you haven't seen the announcements, just to briefly um, let you guys know, the Diamond Art Club paused their production of round drills um, due to some quality assurance issues. They have begun reproducing them, but it's gonna be a few months before you regularly see rounds again. Um, that's great for square lovers. <laughs> in the moment, there are a few rounds in this release, I'm just letting you know, um, but most are square. So, and you do know it's a square because of the blue square on the box and the blue top. Um, there is a QR code right here for 10% off. And then right here is instructions on how to diamond paint as well as your kit contents. Now I am an affiliate of Diamond Art Club. And so if it's your first time purchasing, my code is emeralds10 for $10 off. If you're not a first time purchaser, there are codes everywhere. Like I was just showing you the QR code. <laughs> There are codes everywhere. So um, make sure that you always look for a coupon code. Now inside, we're going to get a toolkit as well as this small sticker. Isn't that fun? You can do whatever you want with the sticker, put it on your box. You can put it in your log book or collect them. Now this is one of their newer toolkits and while they're phasing them in, you are not necessarily guaranteed to get a new toolkit. But if you do, um, I, I feel like they're, they're more and more regular in the kits. Um, let's go ahead and look and see what's in here. If you'd like to see a comparison video, I do have one linked below between this newer toolkit and the older toolkits. But inside this toolkit, um, you are going to get tweezers. So that is one thing with squares is you will get tweezers. In rounds, you do not, but this is sharp. So you get a little plastic cover and look at that beautiful pink ombre and it's branded. You then have a baggie with, or bag with baggies in it. And you can use these for extra drill storage or to kit up however you like to use them. You do get a random colored pen. And so it looks like we got a clear sparkly pen and a pink soft squishy that you can put on here so that it's more comfortable. You do get a skinny four and seven placer that you can put on the end of this pen to multi-place. Those are the good ones. <laughs> I, I like four and seven. You will get a clear gold sparkle tray with a stopper. Now I've been mentioning this in my videos, but I've been told that if you put it in this way, it's so much better. <laughs> Um, so, so keep this because the stopper can be really helpful. You're going to get a random washi tape. This one is gilded. You can see that. Lovely. And then you're going to have a cover minder. I got a black. I think this is kind of like sugar. They're just so neat. They sparkle. Now, if you're wondering what to do with a washi and with your cover minder, with your cover minder, you just take this magnet, you put it underneath your canvas, pull your plastic back, and then this will hold your cover back and look pretty. 
And then this right here is your washi tape. Um, a lot of times there's a little bit of excess glue around the canvas. A lot of diamond painters will put this on around the edges of their painting and so they can keep all the icky little bits out of their sticky. And um, yeah, <laughs> and, and it's just pretty. And of course, like I said, these are both random and some people actually even use this to section. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and we'll be back. So I have pulled the canvas out of the box. You get it in this nice bag that's branded and this will keep it nice and safe from getting any hairs or any icky stuff on the back of the canvas. Because it does have that nice soft velvety backing, it will pick up like little particles or dust. So um, this bag will keep it so nice and clean, um, you know, while you're working on it or after you've worked on it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Okay, this is actually gonna be um, this way. And I am so excited to see this. <laughs> I love Alice in Wonderland stuff. I know there's some people that love it and there's some people that don't, but like you guys, I just, I love it. I love the whimsical nature of it. Um, this one has, or not this one, but all of their canvases have this really nice scalloped edge and it's poked so that your canvas is not gonna fray. And you guys, this is just high quality. <laughs> Let me tell you. The canvases come with a special material that's gonna help it self flatten. And so you don't need a ton of persuasion. I mean, you don't have to lay like heavy books on it. It's gonna self, like I said, it's gonna self flatten. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll this backwards. And let's see. I'm gonna roll it backwards and so it can flatten a little bit quicker since we're doing an unboxing of it. And um, you don't have to worry, you can totally do this. It's not gonna affect your glue on these poured glue canvases. Um, if you see any wrinkles in the plastic, that's really just your plastic cover. Um, I've never really had any serious issues with the glue or anything like that. And if you ever do, there is a warranty right here for any issues like with your glue or missing diamonds or any problems with your canvas. They will help you out and they are so quick to respond when you email them. You can see right here too, there is a legend on the side of the canvas. There's gonna be a lot of colors in this kit. Still a little bit curled, but like I said, you know what? This one will be flat in no time. <laughs> Because this canvas is so large, I'm going to give you a pan and a close-up look and a faraway look of this, and then we'll come back to the unboxing. Okay, <laughs> how fun is this? I just love it. We've got the Queen of Hearts, we've got the Mad Hatter, we've got the Cheshire Cat and the White Rabbit, and of course Alice with the teacups. This is obviously the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. This one is called like a <laughs> tea party. Down on this side, you do have the little small picture and it lets you know the name of the painting if you're ever, <laughs> can't remember what you saw in the box. And then we have the artist right here. It lets you know that this piece is licensed and that the artist is getting paid as well as, I always think it's cool, but they just get, you know, you get to know these artists because you know their name when you're working on their artwork and you can look up and see their other artwork. Um, so, okay. You do get a little thank you per, um, booklet. There is a QR code to a video that they've produced on how to diamond paint, as well as a QR code for the Facebook group. This is a really fun group. I encourage you guys to go and look at it. And there is also a coupon code. And then you do get a large sticker. This is all a sticker, so you can basically stick this to anything, but these are little individually cut stickers, which is amazing. 
<laughs> for reals. This helps you definitely like um, kit up a lot faster. And you can see there's 61 colors in this kit. And then Diamond Art Club in their color code, anything underneath the number 150 is going to be an AB. And so you can look down here and see that there is going to be five ABs in this kit. How exciting! If you're unaware of what an AB is, it's a drill that has just a special coating on it. And it has the little, um, it has this like sparkle on it. And it's called AB for Aurora Borealis for the Northern Lights. It like gives off this Northern Light shine. It's so pretty, I love them. Um, right here you have your start and end date and then your information and then a large picture that you can have um, to look at while you're working on the kit. I always put this in my containers so that I know which kit my containers go to um, and then I put this in my logbook after. But yes, stickers are awesome. We're going to be looking at the drills now. They have a sticker on it that lets you know this goes to this canvas. If you want to store your drills separately from the canvas, you know which ones go to each other. Now we're going to go through these drills one by one. And if this is something that you don't like, feel free to skip through it. You do not have to keep watching. Um, but I will be pulling out the ABs individually and showing you where they go on the canvas afterwards. So let's get into these drills. And again, Diamond Art Club has started producing their own drills. They're beautiful. Most of their new releases are, well, I think all of their new releases I've seen so far, but I can't guarantee that, so I'm going to say most, <laughs> um, are completely the new drills at this point. So, um, oh, they're so fun to work on. I just love them. Okay, we are going to start with this long chain. And we start with 310. And again, I always like to say, but I really feel like their 310s are so shiny and just the least amount of trash I find in the kit. So we have got one, two, three, four, five bags of 310. And then we have three bags of 3371. One bag of 938. One bag of 935, that dark green. One bag of 452, 934, another green. Oh, two bags of 934, 3864, two bags of 3861, four bags of 3799. So that is the one. We have got three bags of 939, this dark blue. 3814, 898, 814, two bags of 9982, two bags of 780, 993, 3772, 498, and 134. This is our first AB, this lovely green. I love this AB. It is so gorgeous. Do you see that shimmer, that northern light shimmer on it? <laughs> okay, we have got 3024, three bags of 413. 317, 453, 109, this like tan AB. That's going to be pretty. Mm, a shimmery. 422, 646, 782, 433, 758, 414, 3865, 318, 350, and 106. So this is the third AB, this cream. That is a really pretty color. Then we have got 645, 3835, 3727, 783, 3847, 779, a good chocolate brown. 
3836, 700, a beautiful green. <laughs> 355, 7 or 739. I got distracted because of this AB. 107, look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> that's going to be so pretty. I bet that's on the Queen of Hearts. I'm guessing. <laughs> We'll have to see. 803, 301, 132, this lovely orange. And this is the fifth and final AB. I love this one. 347, 351, 817, 743, 798, and 352. So those are your drills. Okay, we are back with our ABs. And you guys, this is going to be an extremely confetti heavy piece. <laughs> I can just tell you after looking at this, there is stuff like, oh my gosh, I guess you can just tell from like the different characters, there is a lot of stuff going on. So I explain this because the ABs are going to be everywhere. There's not like big chunks necessarily. Um, and so um, I will kind of try to give you a basic view of where they are, but I have to tell you, I'm probably gonna miss some spots and things like that because they're just sprinkled everywhere. So the very first one is 106, this cream. And I can tell that it's right here on the ticket in the Mad Hatter's hat, as well as a little bit in the flowers in the background. I think those are the centers. And then all these flowers right here. You get this giant canvas. <laughs> Canvas. The, a lot of these releases are really big. Um, and then right here on this flower. But there's only a few, so you're not going to get a ton of this one. The next number two is this red. And you're going to see it sprinkled in any parts of the red that you see on this canvas. A little bit in there. But the majority of it's going to be in the Queen of Hearts, like I was thinking. Um, you can see it in her sleeve her little puff sleeve she's definitely going to sparkle her little heart and then right over here it's definitely going to be in the queen's clothes so that is 107 then this um tan gray tan as they call it like <laughs> anyway um this one is going to be all over the place like like literally all over you can see it most like in the bunny that's where you're gonna see it bulk but like I said this is just confetti um, there is some in the mouse right there and um, you're gonna see some in the color you're gonna see some in her hair you're gonna see some in the teapot you're gonna see some on the Cheshire Cat. But like I said, this is so confetti, sprinkled everywhere. There's gonna be some on the bench. Um, it's gonna be everywhere, <laughs> a little sprinkle. And then we move on to the number four, which is this 132. And this one looks like it's going to be in the scepter and crown of the queen. That a little bit closer, but you can see how there's fours in there. And then on, we'll see if I can get this scepter to you <laughs> without knocking the camera around. There is the scepter. You can see there's a little bit of fours in there. So, um, that is this orange and now the green is actually really easy to spot this is 134 and any of this green that you see that's really bright is the number five and that's going to be that AB and it is like all throughout if you can see all throughout the bottom of the canvas there are a few like that are on the in the green areas on the table like you can see right there in like that's probably the sugar. Um, and then you have some with the roses. And <laughs> you have some on the teapot, a little bit on the cake over here. And then there's a few green spots up at the top that are that AB. But those are your ABs. 
This is just such a fun one and a perfect one to add to your collection if you love Alice in Wonderland and if you love Simona Candini's Alice in Wonderland. Diamond Art Club has several of this like collection of Alice in Wonderland pieces. So let me know what you guys think. If you've gotten more of them, if you love this line, I know um, it's a really popular one. But this, like I said, will be available April 29th for Diamond and Ruby members. That is actually tonight, the day that I'm giving you. It's tonight for me. It's not actually tonight. Well, it's kind of tonight because it's midnight. I know it's so confusing for everyone. But at 12 a.m., this is going to be released for Diamond and Ruby tier members. Now, if you um, haven't seen, Katie from Diamonds and Washi and I are going to be going live the hour before the release. So for Katie, it's going to be 11 p.m. today on Thursday. And for me, it's going to be midnight. <laughs> We're gonna go live with you guys and shop. Um, the general release is going to be Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so make sure that you log on if there's one that you see. I would encourage you to just at least log on and make sure it's not limited edition or anything like that. Um, Diamond Art Club has said that some will be limited edition, but others will, you know, they'll definitely restock. So. Um, Anyway, but we won't know that information until you log on to see the sale. So um, again, Diamond and Ruby tier members, you have access tonight and um, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.